What's going on, guys? Fishing Mass here. I'm going to be doing a little unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, of all the shit I bought. Here it is. It's all a mess right now, but I'm going to organize it, and then I'll show you guys what I got. All right, guys. I don't know how good the lighting is in here, so we'll just go with it. Deal with it. I don't care. This is all the shit I bought. Um, I think it came up to about $80 to $90. As you can see, uh, some of the stuff was on sale. Tags here. But we'll go. We'll start from left to right. Um, we got the three, three inch, eight centimeter cherry crop black red flake. Never tried these. These are the smaller versions, obviously. Four inch, ten centimeter. Uh, I'm gonna throw them on the jigs I bought. These are not the chigger craws. These are um, power bait. They're I think they're called uh, black grape. Uh, fuck, what's their name? I don't know. They're like ten and a half inches. My dog chewed the bag. Yeah, you. So I had to uh, rebag them into another bag. And these are my favorite all time um, green pumpkin chicken cross. Throw these on uh, the jigs I bought. I'll show you in a minute. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of these. Eight count. All green pumpkin. Um, these were on sale for 40, uh, not 40, 97 cents a bag right here. These ones. These ones were normal price, but I had a discount, so. So I got seven bags of those times seven. Yeah, a lot of chicken craws. Then over here, we got the Rage Tail Rage Craw. This is in, what the fuck color is this? Shit, it said it on here, I don't know where it is. I don't know, but it's uh, kinda looks like uh, the craw color itself. It's kinda red and brown. And uh haven't tried that color yet, but I know Rage Rage Tail baits are really good. They get a lot of action in those tails. Um so we got two bags of those, those are on sale. Got a bag of missile baits, tomahawk 8.5, green pumpkin, twirl tails. These look fucking awesome. So that's why I bought some of those. Got a bag of the Havoc, Pearl White, I can now design the jerk. This is a springtime bait. I'm going to be putting this on one of the weighted hooks I bought. Um, twitching this in the springtime when the ice is out. Hopefully we get some. Look really nice. Cheap too. Everything is so cheap. Um, I actually got these offline. Because they don't sell them anywhere anymore. Because they're, I don't know why, they're fucking gay. Twin, uh, twin tail trailers. One in white, one in bluegill. Going to put these on some of the jigs I bought. And the jigs I got offline. All these I got offline because they don't sell these at Walmart anymore. These are black quarter ounce rattle band bass jigs by Arky. Favorite jigs. $1.70 online, I think. So I bought one, two, three. I bought six black because that's all I use really. Two in green pumpkin. These are all quarter ounce. Two in white. And that's what I got the jig trailers for, as you can see. I'm throwing that on the, all the colors, the blue gill. I'll throw on that one. And uh, these here, Picasso Spider Jig, quarter ounce, black, two of those, really cheap. And this is the Eco Pro Tungsten Heavyweight Flipping Jig, uh, 3 16th ounce. Haven't tried these yet. Kind of light. I'm gonna, I, I can't wait to try these though. Have a really slow fall and a slow retrieve, see what happens black also um so that's it for that these did not exceed three dollars these were like two something a dollar something they, they were really cheap so i bought a couple of them series one dives two to five feet by strike king crankbait square bill um this is the series six it dives to a true 16 foot big crankbait big crankbait um, I don't know the names of these things. Chartreuse Black Back. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Uh, series 4, it dives 6 to 9 feet. This is a sexy shad color. Got that. These are like a buck. These are going to be the springtime bait. I'm going to use these during the spring. This is the Cotton Cordell Jerk Bait. Really nice. I actually had some from last year and uh, got messed up. 
because I got so many fish that just broke and stuff. But they're they're cheap enough to buy a few of. This was a dollar. This is a Matsu American suspending jerk bait, the Phantom Minnow. Um, get this is probably going to be late spring. I'll probably use this maybe mid spring. Um, looks like a good bait. I got these just just to get them because they were like forty seven cents. Strike King Pro Series Cross on little jig heads. It's forty seven cents. See, just because they're forty seven cents. Uh, this was two dollars at. Yep, Dick Sporting Goods. Strike King Spinner Bait. Uh, I believe this is a quarter ounce spinner bait. Silver Willow Leaf Blades, my favorite. This was three bucks. This is Terminator Original Titanium Spinner Bait. Um, three eighths ounce. Ten dollar spinner bait right here for three dollars. T1 Spin 3 it's Blue Eat Shad. Blue Shad color. Willow Leaf Blades. Looks like a sweet spinner bait. So I bought that. Um, all these hooks here are 47 cents a piece. Got five at five aughts Excalibur wide gap hooks. Probably gonna throw them with the big ten and a half half inch worm and the uh, 8.5 Texas rig or something. But those are 47 cents. These were the Falcon lures um, swim bait hooks. See the weight in there. 47 cents. Gonna probably throw those on the pearl white, the jerk. These were for ice fishing this year. The Shad Spoon, 47 cents. Little tiny spoon with a hook on it. Had to buy them. Lunker City. Uh, I don't know what they are. Oh, Lunker, Lunker City Specialties. Tex Poser. Size 1. Got five in a bag. Just bought them. I might, you know, throw a grub or two. See what happens on them. Small enough to put the, one of these grubs on. Also 47 cents. These trailer hooks, I swear by trailer hooks on spinner baits. I swear. These things, I've caught most of my fish on trailer hooks. Like, it's crazy. So I bought a pack of these. These are a Strike Kings. They're only 47 cents. And uh, so I bought them. They're 2 watt. Gonna throw them on each of these spinner baits here. Put them on each end. You you don't throw a spinner bait without a trailer hook. I'm telling you, it is it is not. Just don't do it. Put one on. Doesn't even matter what size, really. Any kind of hook, throw it on. I'll throw one of these on. I don't care. It's, it doesn't even matter. You need a trailer hook. And I uh, bought some 12-pound Strand Original Fluorocarbon. $4.50. It's wicked cheap. There is 440 yards on this bitch. So bought that. Bought some GoPro. This has nothing really to do with the fishing lures, but bought some GoPro flat and curved adhesive mounts for the boat. And I get uh, my boat back up and going for the GoPro. Going to be doing all kinds of videos. But that sums up everything um, that I got there. About $80 to $90, I think. Holy shit, long video. Um, so that's about that. I might do a rod and reel video. You see all my rods and stuff. Some I got deep sea rods here and all kinds of stuff. Let me know if you want me to do a rod and reel video because I will. What pound test line I use, what I use for, you know, what rod on what, what lures on what. Um, so that's pretty much it. A fish tank. Oh, oh no, dead shiner. All the shiners I use for ice fishing. Mr. Fash, Mr. Fash. All right. So I'll be doing some more videos in the spring. Um, this is probably all the shit that I'm going to buy for springtime and probably a good portion of the year so i'm not going to need to buy anything else but you know i'll do another video probably on my rod and reels if you guys want one just let me know um so yeah 